नमस्कार दोस्तों आज की वीडियो में हम दसवीं क्लास का होम साइंस का असाइनमेंट सॉल्व करेंगे वीडियो को शुरू करने से पहले अगर आपने अभी तक इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो सब्सक्राइब कर ले और नोटिफिकेशन ऑन कर ले ताकि आगे की वीडियो का नोटिफिकेशन आपको मिल जाए यह असाइनमेंट 20 नंबर का होगा इसके अंदर सभी प्रश्न करने हैं सभी के अंक प्रश्नों के सामने दिए गए हैं तो चलते हैं प्रश्न की ओर क्वेश्चन वन Answer any one of the following questions in about 40 to 60 words. B. Mention any two differences between plain weave and twill weave in a tabular form. Answer. Compared with plain weave fabrics, twill weave fabrics have fewer weaving points in the weave cycle. There are long floating threads, and the fabric has high density. Twill weave fabrics have higher warp and weft yarn densities than plain weave fabrics, and the fabrics are soft, the glossier, but the fastness is not. Question two. Answer any one of the following questions in about 40 to 60 words. A. Sheena's foot accidentally touched a naked wire from the socket and she got an electric shock. State any two appropriate ways for the safe use of electricity at home. Answer. 1. Ensure all electrical sockets are equipped with safety plugs and covers to prevent accidental contact with wires. These safety devices help in avoiding direct exposure to electrical connections. reducing the risk of electrical shocks 2 conduct regular inspections of electrical wiring and appliances at home question 3 answer any one of the following questions in about 40 to 60 words b development is correlated justify the statement by giving any two suitable examples answer development is correlated all types of developments ie physical mental social and emotional are related to each other e.g. a child who is physically healthy is likely to have superior sociability and emotional stability the child develops as a unified whole question 4 answer any one of the following questions in about 100 to 150 words b define immunity how is natural immunity different from acquired immunity mention two ways by which we can acquire immunity answer These specialized cells and parts of the immune system offer the body protection against disease. This protection is called immunity. Humans have three types of immunity: innate, adaptive, and passive. Innate immunity: Everyone is born with innate or natural immunity, a type of general protection. Natural sources aren't specifically given to you to boost your immunity. Instead, there's something you acquire by natural means like an infection or from your mother during birth. Artificial sources of immunity are given to you for a specific purpose. They include vaccinations or immunoglobulin treatments. 1. Our body starts producing antibodies to engulf the pathogen and destroy its antigen. When it encounters for the first time, it is called a primary response. 2. Once a body gets used to these pathogens, antibodies are ready to attack them for the second time and are known as naturally acquired immunity. Question 5. Answer any one of the following questions in about 100 to 150 words. B. One resources are limited. What four guidelines will you suggest to your community to use resources efficiently? 2. Discuss the misuse of any two resources in your own community and suggest ways to prevent it. Answer. 1. We have limited resources as we know that they are in limited quantity. So I suggest four guidelines to our community to use them efficiently. Explanation 1. Plan to plan planning is important when it comes to being efficient. 2. Take a systematic approach one of the most effective ways of using resources and minimizing their use at work when possible is by adopting a systematic approach. 3. Use technology where possible. 4. Use resource management software. 2. Two instances of overuse of environmental resources are 1. Excess use of electricity leads to depletion of resources like coal and water from which electricity is generated. 2. Excess use of petrol and diesel in vehicles. Ways: 1. Soil degradation due to improper crop rotation and crop shifting. 2. Drying up of rivers due to supply of water from them to dams and reservoirs. Question 6. Prepare any one project out of the given below. B. Each nutrient has a specific role in keeping us healthy. If we start eating the food with missing nutrients, 
symptoms of the disease will start appearing. 1. Write any two functions of the following nutrients that are important to sustain life. Dietary fiber, water, vitamin A. 2. Make a diet plan for yourself in terms of inclusion of food groups and balanced diet in a tabular form. 1. Sure. Here are two important functions of each of the following nutrients that are essential for sustaining life. Dietary fiber. 1. Digestive health. Dietary fiber plays a crucial role in maintaining digestive health. It adds bulk to the diet, which helps prevent constipation by promoting regular bowel movements. Additionally, it can aid in preventing diverticulosis and other digestive disorders. 2. Blood sugar control. Soluble fiber, in particular, helps regulate blood sugar levels. It slows down the absorption of sugar and can help prevent rapid spikes and crashes in blood sugar, which is especially important for individuals with diabetes. Water. 1. Hydration. Water is vital for maintaining proper hydration in the body. It serves as a medium for various chemical reactions, helps transport nutrients to cells, and carries waste products away from cells. Two. Temperature regulation. Water helps regulate body temperature through processes such as sweating and heat dissipation. It helps keep the body's temperature within a narrow range necessary for normal cellular function. Vitamin A. 1. Vision. Vitamin A is essential for maintaining good vision. It plays a key role in the functioning of the retina and is required for the synthesis of the pigment rhodopsin, which is necessary for low light and color vision. 2. Immune system support. Vitamin A is crucial for a healthy immune system. It helps maintain the integrity of mucosal surfaces, such as the lining of the respiratory, digestive, and urinary tracts, which act as barriers against infections. These functions highlight the importance of dietary fiber, water, and vitamin A in supporting various aspects of human health and sustaining life. Components. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates provide you with energy which should constitute 50 to 60% of your diet. Though it forms a significant diet component, you should not treat all carbs equally. Carbs. A whole grains like oats, quinoa, whole wheat, dahlia, legumes, a millets like ragi, bajra, barley, a vegetables. Protein protein helps you build muscles and develop skin and hair. It should constitute 10 to 12% of your diet. Legumes and beans, soybean. Poultry chicken, turkey, seafood fish, crab, prawn, lobster, eggs, lean meat, lamb, beef, pork, nuts and seeds, a Greek yogurt, fat. It is a misconception that fats are bad for your health. It would be best if you chose healthy fats as fats help you maintain your body temperature and help absorb fat-soluble vitamins A, D, and K. Avocados, nuts, seeds, extra virgin olive oil. Fatty fish salmon, sardines, mackerel, herring. Vitamins, though there are 13 essential vitamins, you should take vitamins A, C, B, and D measures. A fruit. A vegetables. Poultry. Seeds. Nuts. Minerals. Minerals help release energy from the food. Fish. Meat. You take and promote the growth of organs. Some essential minerals are iron, calcium, potassium, iodine, and sodium. Beans, cereals, nuts, and seeds. Fiber fiber helps in digestion and also helps in lowering your cholesterol levels and controlling sugar levels. Oats, dahlia, quinoa, and brown rice. Beans, a whole grains, nuts, and seeds. Water, you should take at least eight glasses of water as it hydrates your body and is used in body functions. Water. अगर आपको ये वीडियो अच्छी लगी हो तो वीडियो को लाइक कर दे और चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर दे और अगर आपको असाइनमेंट की पीडील चाहिए या हाथ से लिखे असाइनमेंट चाहिए तो डिस्क्रिप्शन में हमारे वहाथ्स एप नंबर पे संपर्क करें धन्यवाद